this, this door is defective. What do you mean? You want to look at that. The door is touching the door jam. I mean the stopper part of the door uh -huh, jam uh -huh. on the bottom. And then there's a big oh, gap yeah. right there. Hinges are off. Oh yeah. The oh yeah. The proper distance right there. I can see that. And then that's yeah, it's a defective right product. You think I still can get, take it back? <laughs> do you want to take it back? I kind of installed it already, so. <laughs> And so, are you going to work on this area today? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get these two doors in. This is Max, the board. Oh, ow! Watch out! <coughs> so we can't really close his door, so it's it's not working. <laughs> so I think he's going to looking forward to this new door. We moved into this house about eight, a little bit over eight months ago. So we've been working on this house on the weekends. If we can have a little time during the week, then we tackle smaller projects. But now we got around to tackle the doors in this area, which I was very looking forward to <laughs> have a functioning doors because some we couldn't just close and they were making a squeaky noise. And also we're going to put in a bigger sized door Doors. so it's gonna be really nice easier to get around and also it will bring in more light you will see on the end what the different it will make As you guys know I have some overflow from my garden <laughs> by the zucchinis so I am going to dehydrate some and I had this fancy idea to make a long piece instead of just a regular rund shape I started to play around with that and I had I thought it was a genius idea <laughs> but you will see later on what it turned out to be but I wanted to make a long strips, so I thought it would be more fun to eat, but let's just see the result.
We really like this vinyl floor because it's very easy to patch it up as we go along with our Rimada. Although I have to mention that the previous one that we had in our previous home, the gray one, it's some reason it was sticking better to the floor than this beige one. I don't know if, if it's just a different batch or what happened, but it seems like that one was a better quality than this one. But we're still working with that because that gives us the freedom to just move the walls around and just put in bigger doors later on as we're going with our projects one by one. Okay guys, I just realized I forgot to record this, <laughs> but you guys have been asking what I like to do on the afternoon smoothie, for afternoon smoothie, and it's actually turned out to be an ice cream. I only use that one, and this is not organic, I like to buy organic, but because it has the dragon fruit, I buy the, this bag, and this is from grocery outlet and it's got bananas mangoes and dragon fruit so i only used one banana that was fresh that was on the bottom so i'm just mixing that one for first and for second i use this frozen one and, and i use this part of the vitamix and then it comes out like an ice cream so it's so tasty, yummy, it's, it's very sweet actually from all the bananas, so it doesn't need any additional maple syrup or anything like that. This is not good. I can't take them off. <laughs> oh man. This is not good. Yeah, it, it needs to be a thicker slice. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, okay. One failure. Oh boy. Okay, now I have to clean all these. If I'm trying to poke it, it's just like really coming off in itty bitty pieces. It's not good. So, the lesson of the day, guys, cut it thin, but not this thin as I did. Don't use the peeler, okay? Just a knife, not the peeler. Oh, wow. Okay, now it's all on the floor. Oh, man. What a mess. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Maybe I can make a powder out of that. I can just take it off with a brush and just make it into a powder form. Okay guys, this was a tutorial what not to do, okay? Keep remember that. This is something that is a not to do. This is all I have. <laughs> this is all the zucchinis. And I already washed these. So once it's dry, I'm going to try a next batch. And I'm going to use some oil on it because I forgot that one. That's partly, I think, the problem. And also I'm going to cut them thicker as well.
Okay, so I just put this little rug over here. I think it's gonna be really cute here. <laughs> and I get really lucky because it just barely fits. Little bit squished, but it fits perfectly. And then of course we're going to change the light fixture over here. So I have the door handles there. The boys can put this one up. Let's turn on the light. And I put this little tree here, so I think it's more welcoming that way. And this is how it looks like when all the doors are closed. Of course, we still have to do the caulking and the painting, but you get the idea. It looks so much better than it was before. And also we have a wider space to step into the rooms. And the artwork that actually made it up here, <laughs> that was done by my younger one. But we love this so much, I think it looks very funny and silly so it's a perfect it's gonna be perfect for that area and it goes well with this cute ikea rug we are getting there getting there guys so it's definitely looking better Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!